what's something you struggled with during freshman year but have now come to be able to deal with and there's two things and the first thing is homesickness the second struggle was not playing my freshman year Okay, so continuing off my last video, I'm about to explain why I did not play volleyball in my freshman year. This is what's happening. So, in the United States, Division One schools under the NCAA. Or let me start this over. The NCAA, the National Collegiate Athletics Association, I think, is like the governing body for athletics in many, maybe most of the colleges in the United States. They have Division One, Division Two, and Division Three schools. And I'm telling you guys, I haven't like read a lot, a lot about this, but I've read rules and things, and like I know some stuff. So I'm telling you guys, it's off the top of my head. So don't take everything as a hundred percent true and don't go tell people say me say say this is how it goes but I'm telling you what I know or what I have come to know or what I think I know. So there's an NCAA, right? And NCAA has rules on how athletes can compete and how long they can compete for and why and why they can't compete and everything like that. Um an athlete has a total of five years of eligibility in a sport in no five years of eligibility right well let me not be general i know that i <laughs> so i'm wearing a full scholarship at university of louisville i have five years of eligibility five years where they can that they can pay for me for and i can play i can like actively play up to four seasons up to four years in any one sport so i could play four seasons straight of volleyball and one season or one year of beach volleyball or one year of track or basketball or that's just examples um, or I could play two seasons of volleyball and if I got injured right before the third season I could sit that season out and then play two more so it would be a total of five years but I only would have played four seasons if that makes sense um, and that, that year that you sit out can come before in between like it can be, come at any time in those five years and it's called a redshirt year now I took a redshirt year my freshman year so I did not play I didn't represent the University of Louisville in any game our season is from August to December and I did not play any game for Louisville from August to December um, mind you I still had a jersey number which you guys would have known I wore number 15 but I was fortunate enough to travel thanks to my coaches and I would warm up for games and I'd be on the bench at games, but I would never go into an actual game. And that's totally legal. Um, so here's why. It's like people, people blah, blah, blah. at the beginning of the season, people are asking me for links to watch games. And I'm telling them, I don't know how you guys are gonna, I don't think people in Jamaica can watch our games yet. I mean, we now have an ACC network, like a TV network dedicated to our conference the Atlantic Coast Conference so provided flow or Digicel or whoever your cable service provider is in Jamaica will pick up the ACC network then people might be able to watch our games or maybe online with a subscription but I was telling people that and they were saying okay well how come we don't see you in like the highlights and blah 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 but yeah so anyway I took a retro year and this is why the level of volleyball in Jamaica is not as high as the level of volleyball in America and many other places or level of volleyball in the Caribbean um, it's not as high as it is in other places to be very honest so Even though in Jamaica, I could say I was a good volleyball player when I came here I was good, but I was not nearly as good as anyone else of my age or at my level um, I had raw athleticism and like I could hit a ball hard and stuff But I'm gonna say my technique was not my technique needed like refining like everything about me just needed refining and it was in my best interest to sit out a year was I sad? I mean, yes, at first. And I'm not gonna lie, it was tough in preseason, especially just it's like I finally reached college, I'm wearing my jersey, like I finally dip on the bench and game start and game finish and my dog get fucked up on the court. 
but my teammates made it easier my coaches made it easier the support staff made it easier my parents made it easier i came to understand that red shirting was in my best interest like honestly now i'm at the point now where if i didn't red shirt i probably would have vexed like i like red shirting has done so much for me that the player i am literally a completely completely different player than i was even like two months ago but much less a year ago when i just got here like guys my i'm come and i just can't wait to play it's like i went from being so sad not gonna say i wasn't angry i went from being just sad that i wasn't gonna get to play for a whole year to being like right now i'm so excited so like you have no idea how excited i am i like to tell myself that i'm probably the most excited person on the team for this season because i'm yet to play an official season volleyball game yeah <laughs> and it's so exciting honestly guys like i am so excited i played volleyball in the spring so we have we play our official season is from august to december and then from january to may to march to may to march to april <laughs> from january to april is our spring season we don't practice as much we don't live as much weight it's like well it's it's our off season but we still like get we're still training and then we play some unofficial games that don't really aren't like recorded games that count towards anything any from our ranking but we played some games and i got to play so i have a, I, i've played college volleyball i can say that i've played college volleyball but i haven't played college volleyball you get what i'm saying <laughs> you, you're on the same page as me but yeah i'm just so excited so i sat out my first year basically i was still in school everything i just didn't play i was still training still everything still working out in the gym getting those Games, but I just wasn't playing. I wasn't playing like in actual game. I'm never got in for scoring a point for the school or nothing. But, but yeah. And then what does that mean for me going forward? It means I will, God's willing, play for four seasons. So technically, I'll be in school here for five years, and I'll only play volleyball for four seasons. I'll be part of the team for five years, but like I'll play four actual seasons. Um. But yeah. So the term they use is academically I am a sophomore now going into this next school year I'm a sophomore but athletically I'm a red shirt freshman which means that it's my first year but I've taken a year off so I'm a red shirt freshman if that makes sense that should make sense so then after this coming year when it will be my second year playing I'll be a red shirt sophomore but I'll be an academic junior but yeah guys um that's that's why i did not play volleyball my freshman year but yeah that's it for this video and i just want you guys to pick up yourself yeah yeah